What's up, Rockabilly Riots? Um, this is, uh, sorry about earlier. My camera doesn't record very long a lot of times. Um, it's finally starting to run out of space. I got like over 400 songs on my phone. I'm still excited on how much space my phone lets me have. But unfortunately, I'm finally starting to run out. So now I'm finally getting to the point where I have to, um, delete stuff in order to extend the videos. I have to delete videos just to make other videos and stuff like that um, on my phone. So sorry about that again. Um, but so because of that I'm having to make a part two of this video. Um, I, I left off on telling y'all what type of shoes I think I would I like what best fits my part of the style. Um, the first one I showed y'all, and the only one I showed y'all before it cut out on me, was this. Just a normal dress shoe. Very casual. I actually polish it a lot, even though it don't look like it right now. It gets very scuffy. Um, which, you don't even have to polish it. I just like to. It, it actually kind of gives it a more antique look when it's scuffy like that. But yeah, it's it's just a regular um, dress shoe. I wear these casually. I wear them go walking in. I love them. They're my. This is my favorite pair of shoes right here. I love them. Just the way they feel and the way they look. These are the only ones I've been wearing lately. The other, I can't find the other match to it though right now. I think it might be buried in my couch. <laughs> Because whenever I sleep, I, I like to take my shoes off on the couch. And a lot of time, stuff gets buried in the cushions. Um, the other, and that's actually where I found that shoe. The other ones are, um, now I don't like polo shirts. I do not like them. But these polo shoes, I, I just love them. I love them. It has a little polo symbol there on the side. Um, it says polo down there, even though it's kind of blurred out. I, I actually had these shoes for quite a while now. I love them. Even though they're falling apart, I still love them. They still slide on. Um, gives them more of a vintage look. I love them. Um, but any type of shoe will look good with the style. Um, a lot of people... Um, in the greaser community don't wear velcro now I was kind of iffy about it at first but my mother actually got me a pair of these for Christmas um, I believe last year um, but it's just that they, they look nice clean um, these are not a pair of shoes I wear a lot not as much as the dress shoes nowhere near as much but I still do wear them a lot um I don't know what brand they are but huh that's where I never noticed that before it says non-marketing down right there Ugh. on my hand but it says um like right there you can barely tell but it says in the camera but it says non-marketing I just now noticed that but those are the shoes I'm currently wearing I do not like sandals I do not like um, flip flops but hey if, if you're able to pull them off they will work now if you're not able to pull them off I guess you can try but you, you just wouldn't look that good wearing it if you're not able to pull it off but anything can be worn as long as you're you yourself as long as it fits you in general like if you're able to pull it off really the greaser style has been modified over the years it has like I was saying earlier they, they had at one point I don't like um, turtlenecks but they had at one point in the 70s that there was a lot of greaser bands wearing turtlenecks um 
if you ever seen Full House, um, now a lot of people argue that he's not really a greaser, but hey, he's got the general style. He's uh, Jesse Kostopoulos, also known as John Stamos. Um, that's his name in real life, John Stamos. But I kind of consider him a greaser. He greases his hair daily. He um, he he wears uh, the general style. There's a lot of times he would wear turtlenecks. Um, I. actually like that in real life if you ever seen him in real life even in real life he's always got his hair greased up he's always wearing a shirt tucked in like greasers normally do um also there was um what, what was his name elvis wore turtlenecks i, I don't know if y'all seen any of those photos of him but he actually looks amazing in a turtleneck um I don't know, um, Brian Stetzer, now, he's, he's not really a, um, this is an example of a 80's greaser, what I was talking about, they will wear tuxes and stuff like that, he, he's never worn turtlenecks that I know of, but he, he, um, this is another example of the greaser style, um,